This is Magic Maths, a really fun way to get your child thinking about maths. Basically, Magic Maths is a way to get your child thinking about those mental strategies, those strategies that they carry out in their head, in a way that's quite informal and quite fun. Of course, it's very difficult to get your child to practice mental maths because you don't know what's going through their head and sometimes they're not sure what processes they should be using. So this little method is a really good way of actually laying out those processes, encouraging children to think about strategies and actually then go around practicing them. The best thing about it is they probably don't even realize that they're doing it. Basically, the idea of mental math, magic maths is that we give children a formula a formula that they then can go around practicing on their friends or family members and they always come out with the same answer. What I would say is that using this formula you really want to encourage your child to be calculating with the person they're asking to ensure that they are correct. If the person who is calculating does make a mistake they will not get to their final answer and they will be able to tell that adult if they're calculating with them they will be able to say oh but you didn't double correctly or whatever. So this actual strategy, and this is a very simple one, kind of follows the principles of doubling, adding, halving, and subtracting. So you want to make sure that your child can do all those things first before starting this little formula. Basically, we start with asking someone to think of a number. So the best thing is, is for you to practice this on your child first. So ask your child to think of a number. I would start very easily with a number below 10, stipulate that to begin with so that they are not being too overwrought by having to do big numbers. So think of a number below 10. So your child might say four, okay? So that's your number that you're starting with. Now you're gonna ask your child to double it. If they're not sure about doubling, just explain to them that doubling is the same as four plus four, it's the same as times in by two, and actually give them all that information, give them all that vocabulary and actually get them to repeat it back to you and use that vocabulary. So you're doubling it. So you're doing four plus four, which is eight. So we're now at eight. We now want to add on six. So you're going to encourage your child to think about you're at eight, now you need to add on six. What strategy are you, are you going to use? So hopefully they will get to 14. Then you're going to ask your child to have it. Split it in two, share it between two. Again, try to use all that vocabulary to really encourage your child with their understanding of mathematical concepts and vocabulary. So have it and we get seven. And the last step is to subtract the number you first thought of. So we first thought of the number four. So you're going to do seven, take away four, and you will come to the answer three. Okay, so that's your first go. That could be a lucky guess. So what you want to do now is tell them to choose another number. So this time we might start with a slightly bigger number. So say for example, we might start with 12. So 12. So we're going to again double it, multiply it by two or add 12 plus 12 to get 24. Then we're going to add on six. 24 plus six is 30. Then we're going to ask them to have it, to split it in two equally and make sure they get the idea that the having does mean equally, which is 15. And then our last step again is taking and subtracting that first number. So our first number was 12, 15 take away 12, which equals three. So hey presto, we get to three again. This is now where you allow your child to test you. So get them to use the formula to ask you and work through the steps. Once they become confident asking you a few times and they keep getting to the answer three, they realize that this really is magic maths and they can then take this strategy, take this formula and actually go around their friends and family asking them these questions and they will be calculating, they will be using their mental math strategies and they won't even think that they're doing it. And it's just a really fun, interactive way of practicing mental maths without the whole process of having to sit down and answer a whole list of questions. They can actually do this and they're looking at lots of different strategies, lots of different methods and lots of different concepts all at the same time, but in a really fun way.